dive day. I'm out of the shop. I'm looking forward to going diving. Uh, meeting some friends of mine, Diane and Jason. Uh, I'm on my way to the boat now. Diane's an instructor. She's got a couple of students, and me and Jason are going to buddy up. Uh, we're going to dive with Horizon Dive Center in North Key Largo, and we're diving on the Spiegel Grove. I believe it's a double dip on the Spiegel Grove. Looks like a great morning. Uh, I don't see much of any, if, if there is any wind. Looks pretty much calm, very calm. Hopefully it'll stay like that all morning long. And the sun's coming up. It looks like it's going to be a nice warm day. So I'm really looking forward to this. I don't get out of the shop too often. Uh, but today is dive day. Uh, I'll see you guys again when I, get, when I get to the dive boat. I'm at the dock. I'm the first one here. Diane said boat leaves at 815. I guess she didn't want me to be late. Here's a look at the dock area. There's Captain Gabe getting ready before everyone arrives. People are starting to arrive. There's Diane on a mission getting ready for the dives. Very roomy boat. First and second tanks are side by side. I like that. Makes for a comfortable trip. Here's my setup. I'm using a high pressure steel with 30% nitrox. We've made our descent, and now we begin to explore the Spiegel Grove. First up, we see the gun turret. The Spiegel Grove was a Navy ship, it was used for actually landing. It carried military personnel, troops, heavy equipment and vehicles, and also had gun turret for protection. Now, as we swim away from the gun turret, the next thing we see is the stars and stripes. Diane makes a quick stop to unravel all glory And we make a quick salute to our stars and stripes. And a big thank you to all the military personnel, men and women that served on the Spiegel Grove. Next up, the cranes. These cranes were used to load and offload heavy equipment and vehicles. Quite, a, quite an impressive sight. A lot of growth, a lot of soft and hard coral. It's impressive to see all the growth that these artificial reefs actually have. It's a good thing to see. And when looking at it, you think you're on a reef. As we swim away from the crane, we're now swimming above the cargo hold, big vast empty space that held all the heavy equipment and vehicles. Oh, Diane spots something. She's waving at us. Is that, is that what I think it is? Oh, what is it? Yes, it's the shark symbol. And there it is, a Caribbean reef shark just swimming along, minding its own business. I guess he's not interested in coming any closer. Beautiful to see that on these dives. Very cool. Next up, we see two stage bottles on a safety line leading to the interior, and there's two divers practicing their skills. A school of spade fish just hanging out. Solo diver and large cutouts on the deck. These cutouts were made prior to the sinking of the Spiegel Grove for easy entry and exit. I see Reed heading towards the doorway. Diane must be inside. So we follow. When penetrating any wreck, always move slowly. Look for any obstructions that might be in your way and always try to find your exit point. Very important not to get lost inside these wrecks.
When moving through the wreck, always be careful not to stir up the bottom. The interior rooms always have silt. If you make large kicks, you will silt up the interior. Keep your distance from the diver in front of you, trying not to run into its fins. A lot of light penetrating in this room makes it for an easy swim through. As we make our way through and exit through the large exit point, we now swim through an exterior corridor. It's beautiful to see all the soft coral extending into the corridor. There's another entry point. I think we're gonna bypass that one and see what else we can find. Yeah, sure enough, Diane's in, there goes Reed and Jason's gonna follow. I'll be the last one in. This room is much darker, but we can still see light. We see a nice clear exit and hear the flashlights. It's good to have flashlights on these wrecks. Makes it easy for penetration. Diane finds another entry. She's thinking about it. And she's in. I follow down the ladder and to the darkness. Good thing for flashlights. This is a forward room in the bow area. I wonder what it is. We're looking around. I see a big engine, some sort of motor. We are in the bow. This could be the old motor that powered the anchor chains as it pulled up the anchor. We exit on the bow area to make our ascent to our safety stop. And here's a view of the bow of the Spiegel Grove from our safety stop. I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Please leave any comments or questions down below, a like, and don't forget to subscribe.